Hello, Namaskar, Sasrikal, and Salam to everyone. Welcome to Captain Classes. And today I'm going to tell you about the startup and pushback procedure with the diagram of an aerodrome, in which I'll tell you about the stands, or you can say bay, uh, aero bridge, or gate number. So it all resembles same. It is all stand where the aircraft can park all uh, for boarding and deboarding and fueling and all for all uh, other purposes. So. Uh, you can I'll uh, tell you about the pushback procedure, startup procedure, and what are the power base and what 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 are the non-powered base. So you can see I have uh, already drawn an ex uh, a diagram in which I have uh, drawn I uh, taken an example of uh, in which uh, I have drawn few base and uh, runway is there. So let's uh, find out how it is how the bays are there, how, how the taxiways are designated so you can see uh, this is the runway, runway 09927 so if you know about the, I have not drawn the perfect runway I have not used the, each and every symbols of the runways I have just marked the thresholds of both the runways 09927 and uh, this is the uh, holding point of runway 09 and this is for 27 and this line is taxiway guideline and these are taxiways and you can also find out the taxiway names over here you can uh, see suppose it is tango and this is suppose lima so you can find out these is this is up to here is it is taxiway t and then it is lima and this is papa so and these all are based so if you want to get parked at or not you want to if ATC wants you to park at bay number 4 so if you have landed from runway 27 you will come like this and you will exit on taxiway tango then the, you have to taxi via tango lima to bay number 4 so this will be your path so this is the point where you have to park your uh, aircraft and the your nose wheel of the aircraft should be aligned at this point it could there can be a tolerance but it should be around at this point you you should not have to move this aircraft beyond that point and you don't have to stop the aircraft uh, far away from this point so just be careful you have to park the aircraft and this point is to be taken care by the uh, marshaller whoever doing the marshalling will will take care of this so Let's start about the pushback. Pushback, suppose for example you are parked at this uh, bay and you want to get pushback and you are ready for departure. So in this case you have to, if the aircraft will be able to move forward, so aircraft is not able to move backwards. So for that we need to put something which can push the aircraft in the backward direction. So we'll install a tow tractor or you can say pushback tractor and it will push the aircraft in the backward side aligning with the taxi or whichever side the ATC wants to get aligned and then you once you get aligned with the uh, taxiway then you can start the, uh, start the engine or while pushing back also you can start the engine. So first we have to take permission for pushback then you have to take permission for startup and then you have to take permission for taxi you can in exam uh, mostly you can be asked for pushback pushback clearance only or for startup clearance only or for taxi clearance only so uh, this is you can give that uh, permission you can you can take that permission but suppose uh, let's talk about the power of bay for example this four bay is power of bay what how can we understand this is a power up bay you can see this line will not stop here this will line go beyond this point and this will be going something like this and this and this and this so this will be like this in which if you have to park the aircraft on bay number 4 the nose wheel should be at this point and once the aircraft is ready for departure it doesn't need pushback so because this line says this this is able this this bay is a power up bay so it is not 
in this example i have taken only one bay generally the full set of bay will be powered up bay or non powered up bay so in this case i have taken only one otherwise if this is our taxi bay then we can align this point this bay also we can join this way uh, this bays and these bays so all will become power up bay but i have taken the step just for example that these are like non powered bays and these are powered this is powered bay so in powered bay you don't need to get permission for pushback so sometimes we have to take startup clearance only so this is how it is and uh, at this portion you can see after this uh, holding point up to holding point or after you can say from here to this whole area is controlled by or uh, you have to take permission from smc or you can say ground which is the atc's lowest unit we generally say ground so you have to take permission from ground for startup pushback and taxi up to runway holding point once you are up to uh, once you reach runway holding point then you have to switch over to tower and then take permission to enter runway or cross runway now if you are coming or if you have arrived at this airport you have to you have contact with tower and you landed and then once once you clear this runway holding point or you can say once you clear the runway then you have to contact ground and up to your parking stand you have to contact you have to be in contact with ground so this is the area of ground means uh, ground will take care of this area you can say apron area not the runway from uh, runway threshold the tower will, will be taking care of up to the designated flight level which is given in your maps so this is how it is so we'll discuss about the pushback and startup procedure it is almost same each and every data is whatever we are giving in we are uh, sharing in uh, pushback procedure it will be same in startup also so let's check out the pushback and startup so you can see i have uh, written a format and also the example but first we'll discuss about the format as usual so you can see first is a station called as uh, usual and, and then station calling so in this case station called will be your uh, ground or tower in case where ground is not available i told you about the ground uh, that ground will take care about the apron area or the area outside the runway uh, holding point or up to runway holding point so but in that case where the ground is there if there is no ground and tower will take care of all that all that area so either you will be calling um, uh, the tower unit or the ground smc unit then the station calling will be a call sign frequency of the atc unit whatever the, your atc unit you are calling then position in this case the position will be in terms of stand or you can say taxi way only in case of startup for example uh, you are doing a startup you can give a uh, stand also no issues but you can also give taxi ways because uh, suppose if that is a is not a non uh, it is a non powered uh, bay and uh, you have already you have to assume that you have already uh, pushed back and now you are on taxi way and uh, you have to take permission so in that case you can give taxi way but normally it is better to give only stand in case of a startup also and push back also because startup can also be possible at over at, at any stand because uh, if it is a power up bay then you can uh, do startup of your engine at your bay but if in case for example in exam the question comes that you are over a taxi bay and uh, you have to take permission for a startup so don't be confused because in that case that should be a non powered bay and in that case you have already done a push back and now you are on a taxi bay and you have to take permission for a startup so in that case i have given this two options stand and taxi bay then security checks carried out this is the very important uh, sentence in case of you if you are asking for push back and startup that security checks is carried out security checks carried out person on board you have to give hypothetical data whatever the type of aircraft you are flying the type of aircraft it is given in the flight plan then you have to give the person on board accordingly information this is the it is information the it is uh, if you don't know what i haven't 
tell you about the ATS. It is an automatic terminal information service. It is a like it's like a, a recorded format of all the recording. In this recording, will you will find the runway in use type of approaches and weather forecast, wind, surface uh, winds and temperature, dew point, many more things in that uh, broadcast. So you have to tune to that frequency in VHF only. It comes in VHF only and you can get the information of all the uh, 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 terminal information you can say the terminal information you will get all the terminal information and uh, it, this is basically the status is basically to uh, uh, load on the load of the ATC because every time uh, any aircraft is departing so it needs a terminal information so every time it will ask for terminal information the ATC will give the all the details of the terminal information so it is better to put a recorded format of uh, the terminal information and put it on another frequency and uh, whenever whenever the pilot wants the uh, terminal information you can switch on to, to that frequency and that broadcast you'll get the broadcast so each and every hour that uh, it is information is uh, you can say the uh, alphabet each and every R is given with the ATS information uh, alphabet for example this is ATS alpha, uh, information alpha and this alpha information will contain all means whatever the transmission will be uh, there after this thing that will be the alpha information man that means it is alpha information and this is carries this is uh, information now if in the as the it is the, each and every information is valid for, valid for one hour and after every hour the alphabet gets changed so if it is alpha then the next will be golf and the next will be juliet and the next will be bravo and each and every uh, hour it will get changed so you have to tell what information you have got if it is alpha then say information alpha that means the ATC will cross check with the uh, your information that you have taken the latest uh, ATS information or you have uh, taken the last uh, information so when you say information alpha and if the alpha information is going on then it is valid but you have said alpha but the current which information is going on is golf within for example after getting uh, when he received information alpha after one or two minutes that becomes changed to bravo means its validity is for one hour and that when it gets over and changed to bravo so suppose it changed to bravo but the captain doesn't know about that that thing it is not aware about the it is information has been changed so in that case the atc will say check your uh, information again once the latest information you have said then it is okay then request startup and procedure sorry pushback then uh, you can ask either a, a request for pushback or a startup as per your condition because this format is same for startup and pushback there is no change other than this you have to last at the last of the, your uh, transmission you have to say startup or pushback so let's find out the example I have taken all the data as hypothetical I have written hypothetical all the data are hypothetical. I have taken Delhi ground. I am in Delhi, and then uh, at Delhi there is SMC. So I'll call Delhi ground, and then Victor Tango India Alpha X ray. This is also a hypothetical uh, call sign. Then on one to one decimal liner, I have checked the uh, Delhi ground frequency on the map. It is one to one decimal liner. Position on stand, this is again hypothetical 04 on stand 04. Security checks carried out, person on board 120, this is also hypothetical. Information bravo, and this is also hypothetical. I have taken information bravo. Request pushback or request startup, whatever you want to take. You can either say pushback or startup. In generally, you can see uh, the captains are asking for pushback and startup in a one go in a one transmission they are they'll ask but it is normal but in exam you have to take permission of pushback and startup in a different format in each and every, uh, each and every so the most important part of this uh, format is first is security checks carried out and after that only you have to say person on board 
you cannot say person on board first after giving your position then security checks are carried out then it would be wrong so you have to say security checks carried out then person on board whatever the person on board is so you have to give so this is very important take care of this so the full transmission will go like this delhi ground Victor Tango India Alpha X ray on 121.9 up. Position on stand 04. Security checks carried out. Person on board 120. Information Bravo. Request pushback. If in case you are uh, going for pushback. For example, this is for a startup. Then also Delhi Ground Victor Tango India Alpha X ray on 121.9 up. Position on stand 04. Security checks carried out. Person on board 120. Information Bravo. Request startup. So this is the startup and pushback procedure. For example, uh, first question says in your exam that uh, ask for pushback. You used this format. Then the very next question is ask for startup. Then you don't have to give the security checks carried out, person on board, information, bravo, this is not required. You can give your position, call, station calling, frequency, position in terms of it could be stand or taxiway it is uh, if in case you have already taken a pushback then it will be a taxiway so you will be taking a taxiway hypothetical taxiway you can say and just omit these three points and request startup because you have already given the security checks carried out you have already said in the pushback uh, procedure you can say pushback permission and person on board also already you have said information you have already said so already these uh, these three points have been given to the ATC so this is not required now so in the very next when you have been asked for pushback also and then you have, have been asked for a startup also so then give push, uh, all these data is in pushback but not, not in startup because it seems to be more uh, wasting of uh, time or you can say you are using or blocking that frequency so that's not required as per RTR rules Okay, so just take care of whenever the both the questions are coming, pushback and startup. If only one is coming, then apply this format. But both are coming, then apply this format in the first format. First question that means pushback. But in the second, just omit these three points: security checks carried out, person on board, and information. So this is all I wanted to tell you about the pushback and startup. I hope you like this video and this is kind of informative uh, in terms of RTR exam and this is a very basic uh, pushback and startup we have so, so many conditions in pushback and startup also we'll come on to that uh, conditions in the later videos so till then uh, I hope if you like this video please click on like if you haven't subscribed this channel please subscribe this channel captain classes the link will be or you can say the white uh, sorry the red uh, icon will be there just subscribe this channel to get more and more uh, related RTI related videos and also tell your guys tell your friends who have a uh, interested in RTI exam to subscribe this channel and uh, share this video to your all your friends thank you so much uh, take care fly high and good day